in this video I'm gonna be talking about one example uh, of tension this example consists of one photo frame or let me ju just read out the question a photo frame is hung by a massless string on two points from the ceiling the angle it makes with the ceiling is 30 degrees and the 60 degrees as shown in the diagram the mass of the photo frame is 30 kgs alright so I think we are neglecting the mass of the photo and this 30 kgs and we have to calculate the tension in the two strings Alright, so if you're a physics student, you would have come across this question quite a number of times because this is a really common question in physics. And I'm going to be explaining it to you how to actually mm, kind of like solve these questions. Alright, so let's just make one very small diagram so that we don't have to deal with this big diagram. This was just to show you, give you an example of how it actually looks. Alright, so we'll take one ceiling. All right. And then we have a string over here and one big string over here so this is 30 and this is 60 all right so and there's also let's take this as the frame this, this is the mass of the whole thing so this is 30 kgs let me just write it somewhere over here 30 kgs all right and this is being pulled down by gravity that's mg which would be 30 times 10 let's take g as 10 second square and this would be 300 newtons now we know that this is in equilibrium it's written over here and that's given in the question now if this is in equilibrium that means there's no acceleration in the photo frame so neither is going down nor is going sideways due to the tension being on this direction and this direction so we're giving that it's in equilibrium so what that actually means is that the tensions or the forces in the x in the y direction in the y direction over here and the x direction over here are equal and they equate each other out to, to nullify the forces which are acting in both the directions so that it remains in equilibrium so if the tension there's one tension over here let's take a different color tension uh, t1 and there's tension t2 over here and the tensions over here are different because they're two different strings and there's no case of infinite acceleration so if you have tensions two tensions over here we can resolve the components so that we can get the equations in the x direction and the y direction so when we get two equations we we can easily solve for both t1 and t2 so when we resolve this what do we get we get one y component and one x component and the values of those would be this would be t1 uh, as this is 60 this should be t1 sine of 60 sine of 60 all right and there we have t1 sine cosine of 60 this is just simple resolving of vectors and also we have in this in this component that's t2 we have one component the y component over here and this would be the x component and how much is the x component that should be t2 cosine of 30 and this should be t2 sine of 30 all right so what we can say or what, what we can actually make out from this is that t1 sine 60 and t2 sine 30 are in this direction and there's one mm, force in this direction that's a force of gravity <coughs> so the force in the y direction this plus this and this should cancel each other out so we can equate them so that would become one equation and one equation in the x direction would be this and this cancel each other out so these both are equal but in opposite directions so we can say that these two are also equal so we can form two equations all right so first in the x-axis let's just take the equation in the x-axis let me choose a better color yeah that's gonna get good two. all right so we have x so then we can say that t1 cosine of 60 would be equal to t2 cosine of 30 all right and we also have in the y direction we can say that t1 sine of 60 plus t2 sine of 30 should be equal to 300 newtons now all we need to do is just solve them now i'll just solve them so that you just get what i'm doing over here let me just open another page so that i can solve it in the fresh page all right which color shall i take Not all right so we have let me just decrease this all right and make another layer Hmm, so this would be black. Purple. Yes. So we have T1. What was it again? 
we have t1 cosine of 60 and t2 co t2 cosine of 30 and this is sine so yeah cosine of 60 is equal to t2 cosine of 30 and we also have t1 sine of 60 all right 60 plus t2 sine of 30 which gives us 300 newton so let's take a blue color and let's just solve these two equations now from the first equation we can say that t1 by t2 is equal to cosine of 30 divided by cosine of 60 and cosine of 30 can be written as uh, sine of 90 minus 30 that's sine 60 by cosine of 60 which is equal to tan of 60 which is equal to root 3 so we can also say that t1 is equal to root 3 times tan sorry t2 let me just erase that properly yeah so we have t2 over here a different color which color would it be it would be orange and in the second equation we have t1 sine of 60 and how much is sine of 60 t1 root 3 by 2 times root 3 by 2 plus t2 that's 1 by 2 is equal to 300 so it will be root 3 times t1 plus t2 is equal to 600 now we can take the value of t1 from here and we can just put it into this equation so that will be 3 times yeah because root 3 times root 3 is 3 that will be 3 times t2 plus t2 is equal to 600 or t2 is equal to 600 by 4 which is equal to 150 newtons so that's 150 over there and then we can also substitute the value of 150 from there and what we can get is we can get two results that would be t1 is equal to 150 times root 3 newtons and t2 is equal to 150 newtons there we have it so we have the solutions we have the tensions and we can just put the values over here so what was this i think this was the yeah, t1 and this was t2 and if i'm correct i think t2 was 150 newtons and t1 was 150 root 3 newtons yes so we just found the values of tension i hope you got this i'll be posting one more example which will be a slightly different and it's a classical example so you'll love it all right see you in the next video